Welcome to Structural Design Spreadsheets. This tutorial is all about Reinforced Concrete Column Design Spreadsheet, RCCD version 1.0. Column Properties Modify Column Geometry by clicking on the Column Properties button. In this form, you may set the column dimensions, material properties, longitudinal reinforcements, and ties. You may click on the input guide button to show additional information about the required inputs. Clicking OK will automatically generate the column interaction diagram in 3D. Column loads. In this form, you may add, modify, and delete load sets from your analysis ultimate load combinations. A single load set is composed of two loading points. One at the bottom column end and the other at the top end. An end point is loaded with axial forces, bending moments, and shear forces, following the right hand rule sign convention. Load sets are limited to 24 sets only. You may click on the Open Excel Worksheet button to edit the column loads in Excel Worksheet. There is also an additional option of extracting column forces from A tabs and ISTAD forces table format. ISTAD table format. You may copy the software's analysis result for column forces and paste the tabulated values directly in the spreadsheet. A tabs table format. In A tabs, you may select the member first and then go to display tab then show tables. Just select the ultimate load combinations needed for the design. Display each load set application to make sure you apply the end forces correctly. Design parameters. An option to consider slenderness effect is provided by the spreadsheet. Enabling this option considers the slenderness effect of long columns in accordance with ACI 318-14 provisions, which is also same as NSCP 2015 7th edition. However, disabling this option will neglect slenderness effect and directly plot the column end forces in the 3D interaction diagram. The column effective length factor K. The user may choose to manually enter the effective length factor in both buckling directions, or automatically calculate based on procedures provided by the standard. The program provides a tool to estimate the effective length factor K, by using a pair of alignment charts for both sway and non-sway frames. For the automatic calculation of K, additional informations are needed. The user should specify the column end boundary conditions. It can be pinned, fixed, or partially restrained based on the column beam stiffness interaction. D. 
Details of columns above and below the column under consideration is required. Also for the beams framing the top and bottom end of the column. The moment correction factor CM. The user may choose to manually enter the correction factor in both buckling directions, or automatically calculate based on procedures provided by the standard. Factor to account creep, beta DNS. Beta DNS by definition, is the ratio used to account for the reduction of stiffness of columns due to sustained axial loads. It is usually calculated as the ratio of maximum factored axial sustained load to maximum factored axial total load. For example, if the column is only being designed for gravity loads, beta DNS is equal to the ratio of total dead load to the total dead plus live load. The user may choose to use a constant value of beta DNS in all load sets, or make it variable in each set by setting the sustained axial force. The user should be mindful of the program inputs and make sure to understand all of the variables involved. As a guide, the program added a few sightings from ACI 318-14 in regards with the column design. The program is now ready for design. Click on the Perform Design button to execute the design. Now, the loading points are plotted in the 3D interaction diagram. Selecting each set will display its corresponding demand capacity ratio. A DC ratio exceeding 1.0 means its plot is outside the boundaries of the 3D interaction diagram and considered as failed. You may also display a 2D interaction diagram for the selected set. In this case, the column is inadequate to carry the design forces. The user may now review the results and provide the necessary actions to satisfy the design. He may increase the steel reinforcement, or increase the column size if necessary, and ensure all loading points are within the 3D interaction boundaries. And lastly, you may display the detailed calculation for each selected set. This calculation may be exported as MS Word document for a neat and clean calculation.
This concludes this tutorial on RCCD version 1.0. Thanks for watching.